I'm Mariska Greenwood and I'm the Chief Exec of LGBT Health and Wellbeing and I was chairing the Czech conference today. The, conf the Czech conference has been great. I mean, I've been to a number of these over the years. They're, they're always really good kind of networking opportunities. I, I was really interested in the, the theme of today's conference, which was around power and the impact of, of power on, on health and health inequalities. And I think it generated a lot of good discussion, certainly the workshop I was in and, uh, and some of the, the discussions discussions around the table were, were really interesting and, and I think we had fantastically inspirational speakers. It was really great to hear from community activists about how they'd empowered themselves and how they then went on to empower their, their local communities. So really, really some very, very inspirational stories we heard. Well, I'm Donna Henderson and I am a volunteer. I have volunteered with Go Whale. But previously, before Go Well, I have volunteered with Tron St Mary's Family Support Project, Balornic uh, Primary Parent Council and Springburn Central Community Council. And even next year, although I'm not going to be part of Go Well and everything, I would still hope that I will get an invite to come back because I think it's amazing, really interesting. Govan is like, where I'm from, is like starting to build up again and hear that it's possible, things like that. And then the other girl that was speaking was about the power and things like that, so it's how we can work, as my group can work, to let make and govern better. I'm Eleanor Dickey and I work at NHS Health Scotland in the Evidence for Action team. Today at the Czech conference I was here to present the theory that we have been developing around the distribution of power in society and the inequalities in health. So looking at power as a fundamental cause of health inequalities along with income and wealth. I'm Susan Paxson from the Community Health Exchange. I think the power of community-led health, I think it was really inspirational to hear people's stories of where they felt powerful and their ability to take action on the issues important to them, particularly around issues affecting their wider community and I just found it really inspirational to hear the difference that that can make and the clear message about how everybody has to get involved and pick up on issues and take them play their part. Hi there, I'm Deborah and I'm a Community Links Practitioner with the Health and Social Care Alliance based in a GP surgery in Govan. I think the main message for me will be around the power dynamic and where the Links approach has been really different and, and similar to other organisations that work in this way, it's about equalising that power and it's about person to person not being sort of two distinct groups of fixers and those that want to be fixed, we're, we're all people here and we've all got something to contribute. I think the, the importance of, of networks like checks, like the Lothian Community Health Initiative that I'm, I'm part of are, are really, really crucial in supporting organisations but also supporting individuals and empowering them and, and really I think what we heard today was a lot of stories of people who had started with small steps to kind of start to empower themselves and, and then bec are becoming really powerful role models in terms of what community what individuals can achieve in their communities and and that that has a kind of knock-on effect that that sort of you know this person can do it maybe I can do well maybe not quite what they've done but a little bit something you know I can take a small step and it's it's really encouraging organizations and networks being there to to encourage the, those those first steps that people take and and keep informing people and keep supporting them